Hello, welcome to another video. Today we are going to upgrade our M.2 SSD from 128 gigabytes to 256 gigabytes on this Acer laptop. So here are the things that we're going to need. A PH1 screwdriver or a screwdriver of a similar size. Let me show you guys. So this is the screwdriver I'm using. Next thing we're going to need are some plastic prying tools. So mine are kind of worn out. I did order a new set. Hopefully they'll arrive soon. Next is a Windows 10 bootable USB. If you are doing a fresh install of Windows or if you have an image, you can load an image too. And our M.2 SSD. I wanted to try out the Silicon Power uh, brand. Uh, five year warranty. I just wanted to give it a try. I mean, they were it was a pretty good price. So I just wanted to give them a try, you know. And it's not like I have a lot of data to back up anyways. So we have 10 screws that we need to remove. So screw number one. Oh, by the way, the Silicon Power um, M.2 SSD did have pretty good reviews on Amazon. So, you know, and it was, like I said, it was a good price. And based on what I saw on the um, description, it's supposed to be a little bit faster than the current SSD that is on this um, laptop. So the only way to truly find out and compare is to do a crystal disk benchmark test and an auto disk benchmark test. So those results I will put on the uh, toward the end of the video. All right, so let's remove the rest of the screws. Put these aside. All right, next thing we gotta do is use our plastic prying tools. So you can probably kind of tell that we have opened up this laptop a bunch of times before. And uh, you know, in the future, I'll probably open it up again and maybe replace the thermal paste. I did order some thermal paste, so hopefully that will arrive soon as well and you know we can practice replacing thermal paste on this laptop I mean I don't know if it's really gonna improve performance but I'm hoping for at least a one or two degree temperature difference so but yeah so for the plastic prying tool I just kind of took my time went around the laptop a few times and then uh, it started to open up so I didn't really force anything I just I was kind of careful especially around the edges there so the hinge part right here let's kind of gradually open it up there we go so yeah that, that's a tricky part of this process so once we get the bottom cover off let's uh, take a look inside and we have to disconnect our battery of course so the great thing about this laptop is the battery is not too difficult to disconnect I like to use the plastic prying tool and just kind of go around the edges there on the left and right side and I just gradually pull it out. So yeah, other laptops it's not so easy to disconnect the battery so I'm glad this is uh, pretty convenient. So once we have our battery disconnected, let us take a look at the M.2 SSD. So it's right by the speaker actually. So I was kind of looking around the... Um, other area but uh i'm glad that they have it set up this way i feel like acer really um the way they designed the placement of the items uh they really made it uh you know they maximize the space so i'm just going to unscrew this so i i use my ph1 screwdriver for that as well and i'm just going to gradually just kind of and then it pops out on its own so it's inclined as you guys can see here, I'm just going to gently pull it out. There we go. So it looks like it is a Western Digital brand, 128 gigabytes. But you're going to see more info when I show you guys the Crystal Disk info uh, toward the end of the video. So let's open up our Silicon Power SSD here. So packaging is definitely nice. And I'm hoping that it will be a faster SSD, of course, but it should based on the box. So now I'm just going to align the notches on this thing. I'm just going to gradually 
put it in. Excellent. Now I just got to hold it down a little bit and screw it into place. So yeah, I am getting better at these M.2 SSD installs. Nice. All right. So now that we have that done, let us reconnect our battery. All right, so once we have our battery reconnected, we can put back the bottom cover and I'm just going to gradually close it up. Now we can both put back the 10 screws. I feel like there's really no particular order you need to put the screws in, but I could be wrong. Because I mean, when you do um, close it up, you know, you can kind of hear a clicking sound. So I know it's secured in place. And I feel like the screws are kind of just to make sure it doesn't um, pop off or anything. But you know, I could be wrong, but for me, I kind of just put them in order. Right now, I'm kind of just playing around with it. So I put the screw in the center and then on the sides, and then I went diagonal. You know, it, I'm just trying to develop good habits, basically. Because I'm, I'm sure there's some kind of method that a lot of people use. So once you put all the 10 screws back, and once it's good to go, we are going to install our Windows 10. So let me wipe it down a little bit real quick here. Oh yeah, so if you do need to enter the BIOS on this laptop, it is F2. So I'm gonna plug in my uh, Windows 10 bootable. I'm going to put it into the USB 3 for more speed because the USB is actually a 3.0. So powering it on. And uh, for me, it actually opened up and loaded on the flash drive automatically. But if uh, you need to change your boot settings, just press F2 to get into the BIOS. I tested it, so it should be F2. So once you get the install, I'm going to go install now. And then you want to read the terms, of course. And then I'm going to go into custom, install Windows only. So we have our Lexar here, which is already partitioned, but what we want is the unallocated space. That's how we can tell that it's a new SSD. So it's unallocated space. I press new, apply, click OK. It's going to create the partitions that we need. And so the biggest one is where we're going to install our Windows 10. There's many ways to do this, but um, for me, that's how I set it up. But uh, for you, it might be different. So I'm going to press next. It's going to install Windows. The Windows 10 install was actually pretty fast. It took about uh, three minutes to completely install it and everything. So I was actually kind of surprised. So here are the results before we have our 128 gig compared to the 256. If you're going to notice a transfer mode on the new one, it is a PCIe 3 times 4. So here's the speed test before and after. So you're going to notice a huge difference in terms of the write speed. Read speed, um, the new one is still faster, but uh, not such a big difference there. But you're really going to notice the difference in the write speeds. Even here in the auto disk benchmark test, it is confirmed that the write speeds are just way, way faster than the uh, previous SSD. So that is pretty much it. I hope everybody enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. Take it easy.